welcome back to another episode of JDM for All. Welcome back, JDM fam. Today we are going to be wrapping the CRV's hood, and we're going to be using some Nardo Gray Vivid Wrap. This is it right here, guys. Looks great. Definitely going to be somewhat of a challenge, just like wrapping anything with the CRV. But I'm definitely excited to wrap the hood. This is what the door looks like. I already wrapped the door. I have been procrastinating. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, next, after the hood, I will be doing the front fenders as well. So let me show you guys really quick what the hood looks like. It is really bad and it's actually dirty. It did need to be re-sprayed if I was to gloss it. Not going to gloss it or worry about clear coating it or anything because we're just going to be wrapping it. So I'm going to wash it up and dry it off and then we're gonna start wrapping and uh, hopefully it goes quick. The CRV is going to look great when it's done. Here's the gray right here. It's dirty and it still looks glossy and great. I love it. It's Nardo gray. It reminds me of Sonic gray pearl, which is one of my favorite colors that is on the newer Honda models. So before we get started, do not forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Now let's start with this project. So it is completely washed. I washed the wrap door just to make sure it is protected, looking great. I also washed the hood, obviously, the front fenders, the front bumper, headlights, the grill, which by the way, the grill is looking great. Just waiting for this to dry really quick. And this paint, uh, because I didn't clear coat it and protect it and I procrastinated on it, it is actually rubbing off onto the rag, which is really sad, but it's okay because I am wrapping it today. So it doesn't look very good right now, guys, but it is going to look much better when we're done. I cannot wait, so let's start wrapping. So we've got most of it done. As you can see, it is looking really good. There are small bubbles that will release on their own and from the sun. But so far, so good, guys. It looks great. I love it. And now what we have to do is heat up the front right here, use the blow dry dryer, and start getting the front perfect. But so far, I'm loving it. So much easier than the doors. By the way, here's the door again. Looks so good. So. Yeah, it's looking really good. All we have to do now is just heat up this front, start stretching it, get it get it done. But these creases actually came out a lot better than I thought they would. I thought it would have to at least heat up these creases a little bit. No, all I had to do was just lay it down and uh, put it over it and it just <laughs> laid right down. Looks really good. By the way, if you, guys, if you guys missed the last wrapping video where I wrapped the door, this does have a cap on it. So any scratches we make from applying it will actually just come right off because it is just a clear, it basically has like a PPF over it, has a clear protective layer that we're going to tear off after we're done. So there won't be any scratches on the actual wrap. So yeah, it's time that we start the front so we could see what this looks like when it's finished and get this done because the sun is going down as you can see yeah we're, we're not going to have much sunlight so we need to get this done as fast as possible Alright 
right guys so we are about done everything is pretty much done right here there's still a huge wrinkle as you can see i'm going to heat this up and just press it in i think that would be the easiest way to do this there are wrinkles right here from pulling it back up but uh yeah we're just about done i wanted to show you guys a trick in case you guys do this on your car because i used this trick over here that's why there's a huge wrinkle right there which i'll show you how to uh fix that in a minute but i'm going to show you how to wrap across this super fast without going a little bit at a time and trying to get all the wrinkles out you can literally get this whole area done which actually curves really really hard uh in like literally 30 seconds so i'm going to show you guys how to do that right now all right so what we're going to do is lift up this corner right here we're going to heat up this area and we're going to stretch over it while applying the wrap right here what we want to do is make this whole outer area completely flat not worrying about this area too much because we're going to heat this up and correct it just like on the other side so let's do it first we're going to lift it up we're going to get as much of these big wrinkles out as we can without having to do any heat now you can see that all of the wrinkles are out now we're going to heat this up really quick this is a good trick because you're going to save a lot of time by doing this and then we're going to stretch pull out and down slightly now we're going to stretch down while stretching over this whole area you're going to see it stretch over it and kind of just mold to it now if you look here it is just molding completely to this area as you do this you might get wrinkles you might need to bring it back up and heat it back up right here i got a wrinkle i'm going to heat it up real quick but i'm going to do this all the way down then i'm going to start working on this little corner because there's a pretty big corner that goes way down right here then i'll work on this i'll show you guys how to do that Okay, so I already went along wiping around the hood. As you can see, it was dirty. So let me show you guys really quick. Here, all of these corners right here, you're gonna wanna wipe all of these down because that is where you're going to be tucking all of the wrap to make sure it sticks, especially all these hard corners up here. These are spots that you're going to really want to clean really well because these are really hard corners also the uh, great thing about the second gen crv the windshield wiper sprayers are on the windshield wiper cowl they're actually right here versus up here on the hood and that is what it looks like so far guys so going to start trimming it some more right now and then we will start tucking it and i'll show you guys the finished product almost done guys it is actually pretty dark out here but check it out it is looking great i tucked a bunch of it i wanted to show you guys really quick one more thing that i like to do as a trick you see these cuts right here i like to do those all over all of the turns sometimes on the straightaways right here too that way there are different sections you're tucking but i also just like to cut into the corners like these all of the turns they're basically going to fold over each other and they'll have a lot easier time actually conforming and just wrapping around the corner so i did want to show you that real quick guys the whole thing did look like this just a minute ago this is what it looks like now so it is looking so much better all right so after about hour and a half maybe two hours i don't know it took a while to actually cut the sides and tuck it all in it looks great guys so this is completely done and i have to say i love it i will probably take another video tomorrow showing you guys the outcome in the sunlight but i'm liking it guys it looks like stock paint the crv is coming along all right guys it's the next morning this is what it looks like definitely looks good there are some small bubbles that are going to leave from the sun it does look weird with the door wrapped the hood wrapped and the fender still red so we've got a lot of work to do 
but it is coming along great all right guys thanks for watching make sure to subscribe hit the like button if you haven't already i'll see you guys on the next video